I'm Ryan. I'm a Bitcoin speaker and founder of Nostra. Lightning Network is one of the scaling solutions to ensure that Bitcoin doesn't have expensive fees in the future. When fees rise on Bitcoin, it slows down transactions, and that's one of the things that Lightning Network is hoping to solve. I'm excited about Lightning Network because it really allows for super cheap payments that Bitcoin was promoting in the early days. Right now, the stories moved to store value, and the, the payment aspect of Bitcoin is less emphasized. But with Lightning Network, Bitcoin and other, other coins will be able to really have really cheap transactions and instant transactions. Essentially, Lightning Network helps Bitcoin with cheaper payments, private payments, and instant payments. So the way Bitcoin works now is every time you make a transaction, you have to pay for an on-chain transaction, and that's where the high costs come in. What Lightning Network does is it's a second layer above that, so every transaction doesn't have to hit the main chain to re basically reduces fees. With these off-chain transactions on Lightning Network, uh, everyone who's a part of Lightning Network gets very small amounts of fees for uh, sending their payments around. And the miners from Bitcoin still get their payments when you get on and off the Lightning Network. So how Lightning works under the hood is basically when a, when a node starts up and you deposit funds into your Lightning Network, that creates different payment channels to other nodes. And each payment channel has a balance on it. And when you send funds, tr the transaction basically hops from node to node to node. And every time uh, you make a transaction on the Lightning Network, the balances of these payment channels uh, just get updated. So in instead of on-chain transactions, these are the updates that are being, being done. So they're peer-to-peer -peer updates. They're not, they're not a, updates to the whole world. The whole world doesn't need to know that you bought a coffee, and we don't need to keep that transaction on the blockchain forever. With Lightning Network, those, those transactions are yeah, unicast, one-to-one, -one, not broadcast, one-to-many. So the Lightning Network isn't just for Bitcoin. Lightning Network is compatible with uh, uh, many other coins. Decred, Ethereum's Raiden, Neo's Trinity, Litecoin, and other coins that uh, have the same cryptographic primitives required for Lightning Network. So Bitcoin just doesn't help Bitcoin scale. Bitcoin will help uh, many other coins scale once they need to scale higher. Some of the most exciting things being developed in Bitcoin right now are these things called submarine swaps, which are uh, atomic, trans atomic swaps, but also on the Lightning Network. Uh, developer Alex Bosworth has been able to pay a Lightning invoice with Bitcoin Cash uh, atomically, so there's no trust involved. And these types of cross-chain uh, instant payments are really going to be the future. If you want to get involved with uh, Lightning Network, you can download a uh, mobile app to become a node in Lightning Network, or you can run a Lightning node on a Raspberry Pi. Your transactions are a lot more private with Lightning Network because there's no blockchain that uh, tracks all of where each, where all of the Bitcoin's going. It only settles uh, on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. So there's no one to, so blockchain analysis is a lot less useful for, uh, for Lightning Network. It uses the same routing that the Tor network does to ensure basically a more private network. Some of the limitations with the Lightning Network is that when you start up your Lightning Network wallet, you have to wait for your initial confirmations to uh, confirm before you can send uh, transactions instantly and cheaply. UX is still a huge issue with Lightning Network. Uh, managing payment channels, managing the payment channels required for 
a Lightning Network wallet is too much for the average consumer to, to, to deal with. We're still iterating on designs to abstract all of this complexity away so that users can just have cheap transactions on the Lightning Network. One other disadvantage to the Lightning Network is that both parties need to be online at all times to send or receive payments. You can't just send money to a uh, public address like you can with Bitcoin. That's one of the trade-offs. So the current state of the Lightning Network is that it's still in beta. It's kind of a tool for developers. However, it is live. You can make payments. You can download a Lightning Network wallet and pay for some services. BitRefill.com allows people in most countries to top up their phone. And there's a, there's a handful of other companies offering services. Satoshi's, Satoshi's Place is one popular toy that developers have been playing on where every pixel you change on a, on a big public screen can be paid for with one Satoshi. And fees right now on the main, on the main net are, can be as low as one Satoshi or sub Satoshi payments, which are extremely cheap. So there's a lot of innovation happening in the altcoin space. And if another coin develops some technology that allows it to scale a lot better than Bitcoin can, there's no reason that once it's been proven in these petri dishes of altcoins, that Bitcoin won't consume that, that, uh, that feature and basically scale better. Bitcoin has a conservative development philosophy. Bitcoin is in the camp of crypto conservatives, Ethereum and other move fast and break things coins are more in the crypto liberal space. The, the values behind Bitcoin development really, they really view updating Bitcoin as patching a 747 midair with, with people inside. Because there's a lot at stake. There's essentially a, over $100 billion, a $100 billion bet that Bitcoin will scale. Uh, compared to other coins. Nostra is a trivia game about the future where we pay people for predicting the future. Right now we pay out with Bitcoin on Mainnet and the Lightning Network and you can challenge friends to see who can predict the future correctly and get rewarded for it. Yeah, like personally, I run a, uh, a Litecoin node on a Raspberry Pi uh, back in the... That's too much detail. 